Hi, Christopher Westfall here with the Senior Savings Network and MedicareAgentTraining.com. Just want to update something that we talked about in the middle of 2014 and now it's carrying over in 2015 and that is where companies such as General Electric, AT&T have been taking away their benefits for retirees, leaving those retirees to go through one chosen insurance agency for them to suggest a Medicare supplement plan all the while, the plans that we continually come across are the most expensive plans in any given market. It's really a sad situation. So I want to update you as to what's been happening since then. We've been able to help hundreds of AT&T retirees and now many scores of GE retirees to find better benefits and still get the reimbursement. The part that really concerns me is that the call centers, both at Aon and OneExchange, are consistently telling these seniors that they cannot buy a Medicare supplement outside the exchange. And it's simply not true. So the other day, one of my new clients called to tell me that when his experience happened with one exchange regarding the General Electric retiree situation, he was told by somebody on the floor that he could not purchase a Medicare supplement plan outside of the exchange. If he did so, he would not be getting any reimbursement from General Electric. He had to buy all of his business through the exchange. And we had a conversation right after that, and I told him to make sure to ask for a supervisor, tell them that he's going to record the phone call and actually record the phone call to make sure he's told the right thing. Guess what? He did. He was elated when he called me back, having spoken with the supervisor who did confirm what was already in black and white in the disclosure documents that they sent out to every retiree. See, you don't have to buy your Medicare supplement and Part D drug plan through these exchanges. You can only buy one and then be reimbursed from buying the other. So what we commonly tell folks is get the Part D drug plan through the exchange and let us, an independent agency, find you the best plan, hopefully Plan G, because it's in most all cases the best value for your money. Now here's the thing, another thing you'll run into. The exchanges have worked out some deals with some very big insurance companies specific to the exchange, and here's how that works. Let's say you've learned from my video or some other video that Plan G really is the best value because the money works, the numbers work for you. And so you call the exchange and say, well, I want Plan G, and they just give you a figure. They give you a figure from one of the big insurance companies you've probably heard of. What you don't know is their specific Plan G may be a negotiated deal with the insurance company, with that carrier, for a guarantee issue version of that Plan G. Now that's not the norm. The norm is that Plan F is the only guarantee issue plan available for people losing coverage at the end of their cycle. But these companies, the, these two different agencies have negotiated with some big top name companies, insurance agent, uh, companies, to get Plan G as guarantee issue. What do you think that does as the rate? Well, in this particular case, the last one that called in and told us, I can get this mutual company, Plan G, just like you said in the video. The problem is it was $35 a month more expensive than the one that we can write as independent agents. $35 or more a month just because they have to factor in the risk involved in giving away that plan guarantee issue. So don't think that when you call the exchange and they say, yes, we've got ABC Company and they've got Plan G that that's going to be the best deal for you. Still, you should gather all the facts and speak with an independent agency such as mine. Let us just run the numbers for you. It doesn't hurt. Just think of it this way. If you're going to get a major procedure done from one doctor, wouldn't it be in your best interest to get a second opinion? And that's what we provide for free. Heck, our entire service is free. All insurance companies and insurance agencies and the agents themselves, they get paid a portion of your premium regardless of where you go. My philosophy is if we treat people right by giving up the honest information up front, unbiased, let them choose the best company based on all available factors, which we can see as an independent agency. They'll make the right decision, and then we are there to back them up and be their advocate. Long after these call centers are gone, long after the call centers have churned through all the different people coming and going and coming and going, you need a consistent relationship with someone who's still going to be in business. It is your money after all, and when they say that old axiom that a rising tide raises all ships, it is very true with Medicare supplements. So if you start off higher than you should, then 
five years from now, you're going to be way higher than you should have been. Cost of living adjustment, not there. Cost of everything else, going up. The cost of retiree benefits due to Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, causing these big companies to push retirees to the side and let them fend for themselves. If you think that that re reimbursement money is going to be there for the rest of your life, I have a very different opinion on that based on what we've seen in the trends. So if that's going to only last you for three or four, even five years down the road, and then one day you are saddled with that entire premium, which by that point has gone up how many percentage points, right? It definitely makes sense to start at the lowest rung possible so that when they all do go up, you're not going to be hurting for a much longer time than you would have been had you just accepted the easy recommendation from the big giant call center. You need an advocate working for you. So if you want to be with a healthier risk pool, my vote is Plan G on a fully underwritten plan. If you can't do that and you have to do Plan F guarantee issue, at least call us and give us a chance to earn your business by giving you an alternative to what the call center may be telling you. The, uh, the risk is going through a call center, paying too much today, and getting massive rate increases in the future. At least just get another opinion. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I've had quite a savings program. My savings alone, Ted, wouldn't have been enough. The Gen Electric pension plan was a tremendous help. I only contributed a small part of my earnings toward my pension. The General Electric Company contributed, too, even more than I did. That isn't all. We even have medical expense protection that General Electric makes available to pensioners. Ted, today Estelle and I have very few worries. Well, thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan. In 1912, the same year that Mr. Sullivan began his career at the Erie plant, the General Electric Company established its first pension plan. General Electric, in striving for progress for people as well as products, has been one of the pioneers in this important social progress. And today, the General Electric Pension Plan is considered one of the best in the country.